Christmas Mondays are a favorite around here. Serving up a delicious spring stuffed pasta dish is Chef Randy Felton. <laughs> So I don't know about helping you cook with these no, suckers. No, it's gonna be okay. I'll we'll just uh, stand back while you do the heavy lifting. Yeah, no worries. Meatless Mondays are a, a good thing to incorporate, I think, if people are trying to lighten up the load when it comes to meat. But you can also have some fun. So this isn't just a regular pasta dish. No, this is clean. Well, it's fancy. fresh. It's, it isn't fancy. It's gonna be like it's like gonna be easy, but start looks to fancy. finish. You, I know it does look fancy. There's yeah. a big reward though, and it's really not a lot of work. It's like 20 minutes, said and done. Everyone's nice. eating, everyone's happy, yeah. right? But yeah, it does kind of look fancy for a Monday. It, it does, does, it does kind of, you know what I mean? Not, but why not, right? But why not? Because you know what, the challenge to Meatless Monday is obviously not using any meat. Yeah. So you want to source out some really cool ingredients. So today we're going to start with mushrooms, right? So we've got some creminis here, which basically are a portobello that just hasn't grown up. Oh, see, so, that's a great way to explain. That's, a good <laughs> that's way exactly to what it, it is. Like that's a, that's a cremini. It's a this baby This one's portobello. getting to a portobello, right? Okay. Um, but just the, the brown skin gives it a bit more flavor than, say, your standard button. Yeah. And then here we've got these gorgeous hedgehog mushrooms, and I found these at the grocery store. Oh, nice. Right, which is kind of cool. So it's not too hard. You don't need to get like a specialized mushroom person, but they're mm -hmm. called hedgehogs because you can see inside there's little like spikes in there. Yes. It looks like a little baby hedgehog, you know. And oh, you is that? What it's about. You can pet it. You're like, hey, what's up, little guy? You're well, one of the Well, now you're pans. making it gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a mushroom. It's, a food. it's just a mushroom. Never mind. That's the thing. <laughs> and then over here is one of my favorites. It's called the Black Trumpet of Death. Oh my gosh, they're right? very pretty. Kind of cool. They're beautiful. Feel that, but they look like little trumpets, right? And yeah, so what they you do. need to do is you take a pastry brush or a paintbrush, maybe yeah. not one that you painted with, <laughs> right? And then you just kind of brush out the insides. And so I've done that. Just make sure there's no needles in there yeah. because they are wild mushrooms. Once okay. again, I found these at the grocery store, so they're they're available. They're out there, and um, they actually go by Black Trumpet. They've dropped that. Of death. of death. <laughs> maybe a marketing thing. Maybe they were like, you know, maybe that's a little bit too much. So a very different taste profile for all of these things? For sure. All I mean, you mushrooms. could use oyster, you could use shiitake. You just want to have some kind of variety going on. Okay. And you know, I normally like the guests I invite over for dinner. Mm -hmm. So you want to spend a bit more and get some nicer mushrooms, right? Okay. Like you can do this with just the buttons, but you know, yeah. step it up a little bit. So here we go. This you got is, your onion. You got our onion and garlic. I like to use that. Um, oh my God, that smells good starter pack. Yes. That's what this is, because whenever I'm doing this at home, like the wife comes out, she's like, what are you making? I was like, yeah, it's garlic. It's just <laughs> I know. <laughs> she's like, it. it smells so good in here. It smells so good, but what's good about it is this is, it's also the witching hour, right? You've got a son. Yes. You've got two kids. They, yep. they're, they're freaking out at this time of day, and it's like they don't know what to do with themselves. They're tired from school. They're hungry. The snack was not quite enough. It's so true. you want to get some smells going on in the kitchen, so they leave you alone. It's true. I'm you know, making it's dinner. It's coming. They know it's, it's a signal. Coming. It's kind of like the bat signal. Everyone's like, oh, okay, Randy's in the kitchen. We're good yeah. now. Yeah, onion, yeah. garlic. Right? Mm -hmm. So then we hit it with the mushrooms. So we got that going on, right? And what we want to do is just want to put enough heat into this and want to hit it with a little bit of salt now because the salt will actually bring the moisture out of the mushrooms. Okay. And mushrooms are 80% water. They are. Huh? They are. They, they don't are. look like they are, but they are. They have a lot of hydration in there. Yeah. So we're just going to bring that out and it's going to hit it with a bit of heat and kind of stir it around. And what's going to happen is that moisture is going to come out. We want that moisture. Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of like just bring that down and that's where the intense flavor is going to come out. And this is going to be sort of your meaty like texture, right? You're yeah. not going to feel like you're missing out on meat when you've got mushrooms. Especially no. when you mix up the varieties. And listen, we don't have to do our little part. I'm not saying you have to go vegan or vegetarian, but one day a week, it's give not it a gonna break. Kill you. And you know, it's actually a fun little like like kind of thing to do because it, it makes you do other things. Get back in there. It makes you get more thing. veggies into your diet. It makes you get more veggies. And listen, vegetables are the thing that we all need. Yeah. So we're almost there. What we're going to do now is we're just going to hit it with a touch of Lemon. Lemon. And while we're here, just a little bit a lemon little zest. zest, right? Touch of lemon juice. Nice. Right? And then we need some cheese. So, so um, what are you using there? So, really simple ricotta. Uh huh. Right? And then because all that moisture is in the bottom of the pan, we're going to do a little bit of. The Parmesan? Parmesan. Nice. Nobody said we couldn't use dairy, right? It's meatless. <laughs> it's not dairy. It is. And then basically you're, you're done. Like that's just going to come down in heat because we turn the heat off, we stir the cheese in, and we stir that up like that. Just so that's what you're stuffing go. your shells with? We're stuffing our shells with that. Um, I like the pasta that you pick because obviously you want to pick a pasta noodle that's got a little bit of substance that you can actually put some filling in. So these Got are perfect. Yeah, you know what, the giant shells, everyone forgets about the giant shells. Yeah. 
but they're so easy. You cook these things for like eight minutes. You got to keep an eye on them, make sure they're al dente because you don't want to overcook them because then they do get a little soggy. Right. Spoon for you, spoon for me. Thank you. This is something fun you can get the kids doing, right? Because it's not really hard. Throw some olive oil down. You just want a well greased pan on the bottom. Okay. And then we're just going to hit it. Like it's going to quell them in. And it doesn't really matter how messy it is. Oh man, this smells good, Randy. Right? Right? Doesn't that smell nice? And you're gonna line them up, just like that. So I can't eat it yet. You know, you say that, but like, <laughs> I, was, I was prepping this yesterday, and yeah. my seven-year-old's in the kitchen, he's like, what's going on? He's like, here's a little taco. And he's like, yeah. it doesn't look like a taco, but he's like, it's totally oh, it's a taco. All right. It's totally a little taco. Yeah, you can slam back a few of these if you're really hungry, right? <laughs> no problem at all. Top that off with a little bit of Parmesan, and then we're going to bake oh, it, okay? So that's nice. going to go into the oven. Let's not just leave that alone for now. But I want to talk to you about something really serious. Okay, what's serious? <laughs> Celery -ac. Yeah, you brought that, and I was like, so, when's he going to talk about that? Feel it. Just embrace Ooh. it. Take a look at that. It's Looks mangled like in the end. It's kind of crazy, but this is the world's best vegetable for puree. It's okay. not like a potato puree. It's 10 times better. It's really easy to kind of cut up. You basically just like remove the bottom because that's kind of where the, the gross dirtiness stuff is. Yeah. You clean it down. You hack it up. You put some milk in the pan, right? That's part of this recipe. Oh, yeah. you wait to see this. Okay. Crazy. Get crazy, okay. Right? It's this simple. You toss in some garlic. Okay. Boom. That's all right. Toss it on there. I own this. Little that's salt, okay. little pepper, a little lemon. You mm -hmm. cook it, right? And then you get your little dirt bike, you know, your little immersion blender, <laughs> and you just keep hitting it like a dirt bike, ning, 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 <laughs> ning, until you get bored of it. It okay. just keeps going, but you don't have to put it through a sieve, you don't have to put through anything. Now check this out. This is celery puree, and it looks like mashed potatoes, but I gotta have you taste this. Back of the hand. Okay. You ready for this? This is like, changes, like, just like, oh, what's going on? This is a better oh, world good. today. Yes. So, right? celeriac? Celeriac, milk. It's, it's part of the garlic. celery family. It's the celery, the root. Which made me believe I was going to hate this. No. I feel like celery is the most useless vegetable ever. Okay. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm you know, sorry. You have a point. However, I was coming around to the good. I'm, I'm done this throwing is, shade. This is celery's hotter, older sister. <laughs> That's exactly what's going on here. I do like a mature woman. Right? I do. Um, but this tastes really good, it's and I think it must be the milk it? and the garlic that you added well, in that made it taste so good. With a little bit of sour cream, yeah. just a touch. So our pasta shells, you know, five minutes in on broil. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Oh, oh beautiful. Right. Five minutes. So five minutes. Everything's cooked, everything's warm. That's great. And now, like, I mean, the beautiful thing about pasta shells is somebody's going to eat ten. Right? <laughs> but somebody's going to eat three. It's kind of like go play as you want, and yeah. you kind of just kind of do your thing. So we're just hit it with some micro basil, and then we're going to hit it with a little touch of pesto here. Randy, that is and, beautiful. And you know, if you really want, you get hit some more cheese, but it's not really necessary. And it's That's still it. just Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. CityLine.tv for that amazing recipe.